Hey you guys, it's Teresa Plus 5 and I'm back with another video. Have you guys wondered like, what does it really look like inside the projects or assistant living or subsidized housing, all that just right? Well, today is y'all lucky day because y'all gonna get to see an apartment tour, living in the projects, assisted living, income restricted housing, okay? So we're gonna first start off at the patio. Okay, so you guys, this is my patio. I don't know how big it is, but this is my patio. Okay, so you guys, black people do not put up water when we get it from the grocery store. Don't act like you don't know, okay? Stop playing. Then I have my little chair here that I sit outside with and kick it with the girls, the neighbors, and stuff like that. This is my sofa. Well, it actually was a um, two-piece set. And I got this from American Freight for about 800 bucks. These like some little flowers, you know, decorative flowers, you know, to have in the middle. Let y'all see. Okay. And then these are my kids' awards from all their schools. Okay. Then I have a dry erase board for my kids. So when they come home from school, we can go over their homework and all that jish. Okay. Then on the counter, we have like our mask and stuff, things that we can just grab and then, you know, walk out the door. We have like little food menus and stuff like that. I have a little candle up here. I got this from Target. It's almost gone. It smells really good though. Then we keep our little candy, little treats right here. I have a little chair sitting here in case I wanna watch a little TV. Then I have my stereo here, you know, so we can listen to Rod Wave. Okay, we love Rod Wave. Then I got some paper plates, y'all, because I'm not trying to dirty up no dishes, okay? Okay, so over here, we have the art station. Remember I told you guys that I used to homeschool, so this was the art station and science station. A little picture of my kids. Like that, they have their little stuff right here. Okay, then we have like a little wagon to put the babies in in case we go for a walk. This is our TV. Okay, I think it's like a 52 inch. I really want to put it up on the wall, but I just got to find somebody to do that to install it. Here's like the little learning stuff, ABCs, numbers, laws and stuff like that. Then they have like their little books right here and work that they get from school. And then this is my um, workstation right here with my little printer and the Wi-Fi hookup, my little um, shredder, you know, post office box, envelopes and all that kind of stuff, stamps and stuff, ink. And then you have my kitchen. You know, we gotta keep the Zevo on deck for the bugs. We always keep our drains plugged over here because we don't want any bugs around. I need to get them to replace that. Then of course we have the kids little cereal bowls, Zephyr Hills water. I got my little juicer right here, you know, that we use. Then we got the K-Or Slim and Tea. I use that every once in a while. So you guys, we have an air fryer um, if I want to cook the kids a little quick little something, one, two, little quick little one, two. And then these are our dishes, pots and pans. That's our bread, oil, paper towels. You got to keep your little paper towels, y'all. And then I got a little decoration. You know, you don't got to do too much. You know, if you balling on the budget, just do what you can do. This is our microwave, stove. You know, this is my little smoothie station over here. This is our refrigerator with all the kids stuff and then the little mags or whatever. Um, yes, we do still have white appliances. I'm so mad about that. They need to upgrade us. And then that's a little, you know, cleaning stuff at the top of the refrigerator. And so you guys, I forgot to mention that this is a three, two. So it's three bedroom, two bath, okay? 
So I always keep my trash can up here, you guys, because my keys are very messy. Of course, this is my front door. This is our table set where we eat dinner at, snacks at. Um, I need a new one, actually. And then this is the first bedroom. So this is my son's, hold on, let me turn the light on. So here you guys, they have their TV. Picture of my son when he was little. Their little toys. Oh, I need a carpet clean. My first son's bed, my second son's bed. So they have a bunk bed actually. And then these are all their clothes. I got this little clothes storage bin from Walmart for like 20 bucks. I actually, um, it's actually two of them stacked on top of each other. So yeah, then I got a toy and shoes right there. This is the, um, that's the utility closet with the hot water heater. Then you got my, the air thermometer, we keep it on 74 in here. It got to be cold in here for us. This is where I keep my mop and broom. Then going down the hallway, they call it a foyer. Let's see. Okay. Going to the left, this is the bathroom. Okay. So this is how we keep our stuff in here. The toothpaste, toothbrush. Is the toilet. We keep Fabuloso in our toilet, so it smells good, honey. Um, I got this little shower curtain from Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. I'm a 20 buck girl, you know. Then that's the tub, or whatever, the rag and stuff. Then those are their towels. And then to the left of me, this is the laundry room. It's a big laundry room here, you guys. So this is the top where I keep my comforters and iron, spray, dust things. Um, there's their uniforms. This is my dryer and this is my washer. Uh, of course I have clothes. Don't act like y'all don't have dirty clothes, okay? And then this is a laundry cart that my auntie bought me. Then I keep my washing detergent right there. So this is the laundry room, okay. Then in here, you have my girl's room. Then in here, you have a second room. So these are all my girl's beds. Um, I've gotten them millions of beds and they broke them, so I won't be buying them any more beds so they get older. This is their clothes storage bin, okay? So these are also two of them stacked on each other, two. Their little light, their Barbie dream house, toy bin over here, and their shoes over there. Jackets, coats, stuff up there. And then this is the third bedroom. This is the master bedroom. This is my room, you guys. Let me cut on the light. Okay, so you guys, this is my dresser. It has all my perfume, polish, sunglasses, all that jush and stuff, you know. And then this is my TV. I actually wanna get my TV hung up as well. And then as you guys can see, I'm a designer girl sometimes. You know, I'm on a budget. But I made me a little YSL picture, a Chanel picture, and a Louis Vuitton picture, so. You know, you could be a little stylish in your house. And then this is my bed. This is actually a queen bed. Y'all can see. And this is my dresser where I keep my water that I drink at night, my purse, air freshener, charger, all that just. And then this is the second bathroom, you guys. If you can see. So this is my sink. This is my bathroom. All of that, my toilet. Like I said, we gotta have five below. So, you know, you can be very stylish in your apartment. This is my eucalyptus plant that I have for my allergies at night. So, 
bags, you know, towel. So this is the bathroom, you guys. You know, and I think I bought this shower curtain from Amazon as well. Okay. Okay, so you guys, just because you live in public housing or subsidized housing or income restricted housing doesn't mean that you have to live like that. It's not where you live, it's how you live, okay, you guys? And you know, don't feel bad about being in housing or on food stamps or any public assistance because that's just a stepping stone for you to grow and for you, you know, it's to motivate you to do better and get better, okay, you guys? And hopefully one day I will have a big house, a big mansion for me and my kids. But until now, we're just enjoying where we are right now. Okay, you guys? So don't let any of that discourage you. Keep going, keep moving, keep pushing, okay? Because it is going to get better later. All right? So if you guys enjoyed this apartment tour in the projects, in assistant housing, subsidized housing, Okay, so y'all, do y'all hear that? That's my refrigerator, okay? That need to be replaced. That's the white refrigerator. So we need new appliances in here, okay? But as you can see, it's very clean in here, very nice in here. Um, I don't keep up with the Joneses. I keep up with Teresa, okay? So if you guys like this apartment tour, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and also put that notification bell on so you guys can be notified when I post more apartment tours, okay, you guys? Bye.